Hey there, welcome to my channel. This is Erica from Highland Hickory Designs and in this video I'm going to show you how to finish your final row if you're creating a triangle using either mini corner to corner crochet or regular corner to corner crochet. So when you're making a triangle you could make this into a shawl or even one of those hair bandanas. Anything that is shaped like a triangle and in this video, we're just going to demonstrate how to get that smooth edge on the final row. So this is mini corner to corner, and it's worked using half double crochets. So what we're going to do is we will chain two, turn your work, half double crochet in the first stitch, our next two stitches will go in this chain two space and your next two stitches will be single crochets. So two single crochets in the chain two space. Now we move on to our next block. In this first stitch we're going to work a half double crochet And in the chain two space, two single crochets. And we will repeat that the whole way across. We start out with a taller stitch to make up for this deep V and then shorter stitches to kind of even it out the rest of the way across. So let's continue a half double crochet in the first stitch, two single crochets in the chain two space. half double crochet, two singles, And in the last block, half double crochet in the first stitch. And you're left with a chain two space. So you'll do two single crochets to finish it off. And now you have a straight line across for the top of your triangle. So obviously this is just a miniature version of what you can do. A shawl or even a hair bandana would be much, much larger. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to keep it small. So let's move on to the regular corner to corner crochet edging, which will be slightly different. Okay, so as you can see, these stitches are much larger because these are double crochets instead of half double crochets. This is the standard corner to corner crochet stitch. And it also has that jagged edge for our final row, or next to final row because we're going to add a final row. But if you wanted to make this into a shawl or anything triangular, you would want straight edges the whole way around. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So for the double crochet corner to corner, first we're going to chain three, turn our work, and just like before, we're going to use tall stitches and work our way to smaller stitches to create this diagonal line across the top of our project. So in the first stitch, we're going to double crochet, then we'll half double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then single crochet in this chain three space from the previous row. So we need a really tall stitch here to keep going in a straight line. So we'll start with a double crochet, half double crochet, 
single crochet and in the chain three space another single crochet and we'll continue that pattern the whole way down double crochet in the first stitch half double crochet single and then single in the chain three space double crochet half double crochet single crochet and single in the chain three space double crochet half double crochet single and single again okay for our last block it is exactly the same double crochet in the first stitch half double crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch and then all we're left with is the chain three space single crochet one more time and that's it that gives us a nice straight edge for our project and I'll insert a picture right now of a project that I've already done that is in mini corner to corner crochet the soaring hearts shawl if you're interested in that pattern it is linked in the description box below thank you so much for watching this video I hope it was helpful if you liked it please like share and subscribe I'll see you in the next video Bye.